Just a brief note before we get started on this new endeavor. As you have already noticed, we have finished up Book 7 of the Archangel Michael Channelings, and we are beginning a new book, Becoming a Cosmic Telepath and a World Server, Telepathic Communication, Opening to Channel, Overlighted by Archangel Michael, Jeshua, Dual Kool, El Moria, St. Germain, including messages of hope and inspiration from Archangel Michael transmitted to Rana, Sacred Scribe. This book contains over 60 messages, so we're going to be busy for the next couple of months. Once again, I just wanted to thank Rana for her kindness and sharing of all of this material. If you're new to this material, uh, there are the full six books already up on the channel. If you're confused by some of the terms, just start at book one, work your way slowly through book six, and then you'll get to this book. It has all the exercises, it has all the definitions that you'll need. So take a little time and kick back and give yourself a special treat. So now we will begin becoming a cosmic telepath. How it all began, Rana's story. In 1982, after a career in the corporate world that spanned 40 years, I retired from my position as a real estate broker manager of a large real estate office. Triton came to me in 1984. One day in October 1991, Triton said to me, You have integrated our energy, and we now are as one. Soon there will be a being of greater light who will come to you. Archangel Michael came to me in January 1992. Beginning in February 1992, I have published a message from Archangel Michael every month except one, December 1996, when we moved from San Diego to Reno. Archangel Michael's monthly messages are read by millions around the world. My first book, On Wings of Light, was published in 1996. The Dutch translation of On Wings of Light was first on their bestseller list for a few months and was number two bestseller for almost a year. It was reprinted nine times in Holland. I now have 15 published books, many of which have been translated into foreign languages. At the beginning of my seminar, I often give a brief overview of my spiritual journey and how I became a messenger for Archangel Michael. The main reason I do this is to let you know that I am no different than you. I often say, you think that people like me who are well-known and appear before large audiences are special, gifted, and blessed. Well, yes, we are, but so are all of you. The only difference I see is that we have a tenacity. When things got rough, we dug in and just kept going until we made a breakthrough. In other words, we never gave up no matter the obstacles or challenges. We have a burning desire within to gain spiritual wisdom, to connect with our divine self, and to serve in whatever way we are inspired and guided to do. I have always been a seeker of knowledge. However, I married very young, and my time and attention was devoted to working outside the home to help support my family and in raising three children. My second husband and love of my life, Kent, and I both retired from successful careers in 1982. Kent retired from Western Airlines, later Delta Airlines, and I retired from my real estate broker's license and position as sales manager for a large real estate firm. After struggling to make ends meet for many years, I felt I was the richest and luckiest person on earth after I married Kent, and we began to travel all over the world. As a regional marketing director for Western Airlines, we had the privilege of flying first class, staying in the grandest hotels. We were wined and dined and treated like royalty, sometimes part of the job, and other times on wonderful vacations to places I had only read and dreamed about. In preparation for retirement, we purchased a beautiful home on one and a half acres of land with a meandering stream towering oaks, and many majestic granite boulders in the foothills of Laguna Mountains about 35 miles east of San Diego, California. We loved our freedom and spent most of our time landscaping our spacious yard and enjoying the peace and tranquility of country living. After years of traveling, cocktail parties, golf vacations, and socializing, it all began to pale and become boring and repetitious. We gradually withdrew from much of the social world, and I began to experience a divine discontent. I no longer had a desire to participate in all the activities of our past life, but there did not seem to be anything to take their place. I was guided to read all kinds of metaphysical material, including many of the older esoteric teachings that are so hard to understand. I meditated every morning for at least half an hour and practiced the various techniques that I learned. Sometimes I would vibrate so hard inside it felt as if I were lifting off the chair or bed. I didn't know what was happening, but I felt that it was right to go with the flow. I joined a group of ladies who met every other week to study and share what we had read or learned, and as often happens, I later learned, I began to have health problems and experience what I now know as the dark night of the soul. 
Everything in my world was the same, a wonderful husband, a beautiful home, and a comfortable, secure income. But I came bored and unsettled, and at times I felt an almost overwhelming sense of despair. One day I was stretched out on the floor after doing some yoga exercises. I tried to meditate, but my back was aching and I could not concentrate. My eyes were shut tight and tears were streaming down my face as I symbolically lifted my soul in my hands and extended them out to God, saying, Here, you take it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what you want me to do. A loud voice boomed inside my head, saying, Well, it's about time. We have been waiting for you to get your ego out of the way so we can begin to work with you. I am called Triton. I reside in the higher causal plane, and I am to be your master teacher. Before you incarnated into this lifetime, you as a messenger of the higher realms agreed to bring forth the wisdom and truth so vitally needed during these critical times of great change. I will work with you if you are willing. Thus began a most wondrous and amazing interaction between me and this wise and beautiful being. I spent months carrying on incredible conversations in my head as I went about the work in the house and the yard. I was given explanation for all the painful things I had experienced in my childhood and my first marriage. I was given glimpses of past life relationships which gave me much insight as to the lessons and challenges I had chosen to experience in this lifetime. Triton patiently helped me understand my past, gave me a vision of my future. I began to write poetry, and even though I was fearful of failure, I also began to write Once Upon a New World, a trilogy I call Metafiction. It is inspired, not channeled, and the stories tumbled out of my consciousness as fast as I could write them down in shorthand and longhand. The result was stories of six of my important past incarnations, my journey through time and space as a spark of the Divine Creator. They are love adventure stories that entertain while teaching the universal laws, and they show the continuity of life and how we interact with our soul families as we learn our lessons on planet Earth. Day after day, month after month, new information poured forth, things I had no way of knowing and could never have imagined. Soon I was doing past life readings of my friends, and after much gentle coaching, I began to allow Triton to speak through me. Everything was moving very quickly during the 1980s, and by 1988 I was comfortably speaking before crowds of up to 200 people in the San Diego area. One day in October 1991, Triton said to me, You have integrated our energy, and we are now as one. Soon there will be a being of greater light who will come to you. I was somewhat taken back, but I did not question him. At the same time, I obtained a crystal from two and one-half inches long, multifaceted, but rather flat on the side. It was very powerful, and my affinity for it grew the more I meditated while holding it in my left hand. One day it grew very warm, and the following words came into my consciousness. I am called Excalibur. I am symbolic of the tip of Archangel Michael's sword, and I have returned to you so you'll remember from whence you came. I was in shock, and I had no idea what it meant. Now I must tell you, I was raised in a religion that did not talk much about angels, only the devil, hellfire, and damnation, which did not ring true and frustrated me no end. I stopped attending that church as soon as I was old enough to make my own decisions. I knew very little about angels or archangels. During one of the group meetings, one of the ladies brought a small book about angels, and there was a brief mention of Archangel Michael in it, but that was all. After gathering on January 11, 1992, the 11-11 event, where I had channeled Triton for the group, I decided to make a recording for some of the ladies who could not attend. I now had an older model, used computer, I would record the channel messages and then transcribe them on the computer. By this time, Triton's energy was very compatible with mine, and it was like shifting a radio dial to allow him to come through. However, as I took a deep breath in preparation for his message, a powerful energy descended through my crown chakra, down my spinal column. It was not painful, but there was a pressure in my neck and shoulders, and I had to arc my back to accommodate the energy. I still have the tape, and my voice sounds hollow as it is coming from a great distance. The message went something like this. I am the Archangel Michael. A very long time ago you promised to be one of my messengers during these times of chaos and change in preparation for the new age to come. You are to bring forth a new truth and wisdom teaching to assist others to awaken and to reclaim their self-mastery. In the years ahead there will be a great change, and the spiral of earth and humanity into the fourth and fifth dimension is inevitable. The angelic realms are what could be called a transition team. As messengers and conveyors of light from our Father, Mother God, we will make our presence known to humankind in many wondrous ways as the veil of illusion thins, 
and the masses awaken to their true lineage and divine heritage. Until you can adjust to my energy, I will convey the messages through the one you know as Triton. There was much more to the message, but that was the most important part. And so it began. The first few messages in On Wings of Light are through Triton, or the messenger as Lord Michael called him. I gradually became accustomed to his powerful but loving energy, and the connection has steadily grown stronger year after year as he first raided his loving wisdom and power down into my auric field. After a time he lifted me into his auric field, so that now it is as if we are one. I feel his presence at all times, and though there is a protocol and he will not infringe, it is as if he is perched on my shoulder or standing on my right side. Always ready to direct, inspire, encourage, and protect me. It is the most wondrous relationship and the most precious gift you could ever imagine. Everything our beloved Michael has told me has come true, perhaps not quite in the way I envisioned or in the time frame I would have liked, but in retrospect I see it has always been perfect for my highest learning. I have had to experience all the trials and tests in order to reap all the blessings and reward so that I can truly say, I know how you feel. My earlier seminars were entitled, Walk Your Talk, Fly Your Vision. No longer is it appropriate to say, do as I say, not as I do, for no one will listen to you if you're not in total integrity. I am now in my 88th year around the sun, and my health and vitality are excellent. It is miraculous, for I had many health problems in the first 56 years of my life. I had six surgeries, five broken bones, bronchial pneumonia, pneumonia twice, and two near-death experiences. I had a love-hate relationship with my body, but after I began to tap into my inner strength, wisdom, and my higher self, I realized that I had a mission to fulfill, and if I was going to be around for a while, I had better begin to love my body and pay attention to it. And it has paid off, because these past thirty-some years, I have had only a few physical problems, mostly ascension and clearing symptoms. I have an extraordinary amount of energy at my age. I am living proof that what Lord Michael teaches is valid, and it does work if we only give it a chance. Even though I have experienced many trials, tests, and dark night of the soul, I can look back in retrospect and I understand they were all for my highest good. They have helped me to become the person I am today. My life is filled with abundance, miracles, blessings, and so much love I can hardly contain it all. And so I keep sharing it so that may many more may flow to and through me. These are exciting, sometimes difficult, but still wondrous times to be in the physical body, and we are all blessed beyond measure. Are you claiming your full share of our Father, Mother, God's blessing? And if not, why not? We, who are the messengers for the wondrous beings of the higher realms, have devoted our lives to our spiritual mission, so that you may have access to the wisdom teaching for this new age. I now have thirteen published books. Many have been translated into foreign languages and are read around the world seven books on Archangel Michael's wisdom teaching messages. On the wings of light, the golden promise, your sacred quest, let there be light, reveal cosmic truth, secrets of self-mastery, and the magic and majesty of ascending a humanity. We have also created three workbook study manuals which incorporate all the information from my I Am Mastery course, plus all the major techniques and tools Lord Michael has blessed us with over the past years, as well as many meditations and a compilation of some of his most powerful teachings, scripting your destiny, reference and revelations, glossary and illustrations becoming a cosmic telepath and a world server, which contains an advanced glossary of spiritual terms. Most recently, I co-authored a book with Kevin Adam, Unified Creator Spirituality. This spiritual digest of Archangel Michael's complex spiritual concepts and universal laws has been designed to assist the reader to quickly comprehend, integrate, and live these powerful new wisdom teachings, which are an integral part of our forthcoming fifth dimensional reality. All these books are available on my website, StarQuest Mastery. If someone had told me 25 years ago I would be a published author of many books and holding seminars around the world in person via the Internet, I would have said they were out of their mind. However, I now know that all I have to do is focus on my vision and harmony with spirit in order to create a life filled with love, beauty, peace, joy, and abundance. You are no different. Each of you has the potential to create or become anything you can envision and are willing to do what it takes to bring your dreams to fruition. I know that the years ahead will be filled with the great changes and chaos as well as many miracles. Beloved Michael tells us over and over, out of chaos comes new creation. However, I also know that it is the most incredible lifetime we will ever experience on earth. 
We have never before had such wondrous opportunities as we are now experiencing. As we are bombarded with all the rarefied creator light that we can integrate and use. Those of us who are the messengers of the wondrous beings of the higher realms have devoted our lives to our spiritual mission, so that you may have access to the wisdom teaching of this incredible new age. I am so grateful for the many gifts and miracles that I have been blessed with over the years. I am humbled by the outpouring of love and acceptance I have received from people all over the world. I consider all of you to be my soul family, and I know the best is yet to come. I wish you love, peace, and abundance. May your days and night be filled with love, light, and angel blessings. Rana.